Hello everybody. Thanks for stopping by Design by Kathy. So I'm here in the studio and it is a mess. Let me tell you, I did a an art and craft fair, actually a wine festival over the weekend. So got home and just so exhausted. Everything just had to go where it landed. So I'm going to be stumbling around on the, over my stuff today. No, not really. I mean, just to get out the door not to paint. But today we're going to continue on doing blooms and this time we're going to be using a black cell activator and a black base paint or pillow paint as it is called. So let me get set up and let's get right to pouring. I couldn't decide exactly what size to canvas to use for this. Uh, so I picked the one that, that, that was open. How about that? Just eliminate that problem. This one was handy. So this is a 12 by 12. I'm using as my pillow black and I'm using the Artist Loft Flow, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. And this is Nancy Petrie's recipe for this pillow paint. For my paints, I've used the, the mixture that uh, was described in the last video, which is with the HG TV Home Sharon Williams Infinity. Three tablespoons, one tablespoon of polycrylic. I've mixed up these Deco Art paints, one teaspoon to approximately one ounce because well it's a little bit over an ounce because we put in three ounces uh, we have four ounces total so I've got a little bit over more than an ounce in each of these I've got purple blue and a metallic gold my cell activator is going to be black and it is from I keep don't have my stuff with me. It is from Tammy Anderson. So let me, let's start pouring. What do I want where? What do I want where? I know I want the gold in the middle. So I want to know if you guys gave it a try. Have you tried doing a bloom? If it's your first time doing a bloom, let me know how it went for you. And you may be, you may have been pouring blooms all along. I don't know. Uh, just love to hear that from you. Uh, okay. One little boo-boo. I didn't bring anything to put my hair up with, so I hope I don't have painted hair. Give this one more stir. So what I want to do, for several reasons. Okay, what I want to do instead of blowing, for several reasons, one, <sighs> It's, it'll be just a little harder, this bigger size. So I'm going to use my Little World's smallest blower. I've taken the little tip end off just to give it a little more, so it won't be so direct, direct you know, uh, concentrated blow. So let's see what we can get with this.
Now that looks, I like that. I like the look so far. All my colors coming through that you can see all of them, the purple, the blue, and the gold. So let's take it for a spin and see what we get. Uh, this is these are pretty really pretty now I could have come back in let me show you right in here and blown that out a little more but I really love the way that gold just kind of softly formed out there in the black so I don't want to touch that at all I've got nice lacing some really pretty cells I'm going to put a torch. I do see some bubbles and we'll see if some more. What happens? this. I'm going to see if I can shoot it in there to you a little closer. Got a glare. I'm sorry about that glare, but I'll get some close-ups. Anyway, this is with the black pillow paint. All the information will be below of where to get a recipe. Who's where um, <laughs> With me, my uh, process, what's worked for me is using a little bit of knowledge from this person, a little bit of knowledge from that artist, and so on, until I found what worked for me. And that's what I want you guys to do, is to find what works for you, so that you'll have fun with this technique and enjoy it. So, don't forget to check the links. We've got a lot of information down there. Thanks for stopping by. And I hope I see you all next time really soon. We'll do something a little different. Have a good day.